Hello, Candice Onida here. And this week, what I want to talk to you about is eight keys to increase your feminine energy. Number one, move. The feminine is about movement to the masculine, which is about stillness. So in our modern day, we're often sort of stuck behind a computer and we're very still in that kind of stuck still way. And it's really important to elicit a lot of movement into your day. So get up, create breaks, go for a walk, get out, shake it out, put some music on, have a little dance break. This will get you back into an experience of your feminine power in your body. Number two is about self-care. Now, self-care is such a deeply important piece for you being in your feminine power. Well, I always use that analogy of when you're on an airplane and they say if the oxygen goes out, put the oxygen mask on yourself first, as in self-care first, and then you put it on the child, okay? So for so many of the people, the women that I work with, they're in care mode. It's natural to us to care and to love and to take care of others. However, if the care goes out first, we are not filling up, right? We need to be filled up. And when you really get into the experience of feminine power, you are in this sense, this experience of being filled up on life. And then it's full to overflowing. And then the overflowing can go into care of others. So self-care, that can be anything from making sure that you're nourishing your body in terms of what you eat, nourishing yourself in terms of uh, taking time out, uh, nourishing yourself in terms of spending time with other people. There's other things that are gonna come in this list here. But self-care, you know what it means, you just have to make time for it and do it. It's your version of self-care, make sure that you do that to get back into your feminine power. Number three, orgasm. Now, orgasm doesn't necessarily mean climax or the culmination of the sexual experience, but we are extremely sexual beings, women. We are actually more tapped into the sexual space and the sexual energy than men. This is the whole big reversal that women need to understand. We are extremely juicy, vibrant sexual beings. So the intimacy that comes through sexuality or sexual interaction, uh, the, the experience of orgasm is incredibly replenishing, powerful experience for us it's part of the filling up thing okay so when we have a lot of sex and a, a filled up on climax and filled up on the orgasmic build up that doesn't need to call made in climax we are filling up on feminine power energy number four community community of women especially we are built to be in community with each other women are designed to support co-create, build, thrive and flourish together. So even if that means going out and having lunch or tea with just one girlfriend or two girlfriends, make time to do that. I'm always just struck by how deeply I am nourished by an hour, an hour and a half over lunch, talking to a girlfriend or a new person I've met through networking or speaking or one of my clients. I love that experience. I'm just, it's so out of proportion to the way the mind thinks, oh, that's taking too much time out of my day, right? Deeply nourishing, building community, being community, being with other women. Number five, taking space or what I call out breath. So, the masculine is to the in-breath, as in to breathing in, what the feminine is to breathing out or the out-breath. We require that space to digest all the information, all of the influx that's coming in in our life, which is so much, and you know that, right? We have to have space to digest. When you give yourself the space, the out breath, you will find that you get start to get massive influx of creative energy, insights, downloads. That could be in the form of through meditation, through time alone, through walking in the, in the woods, hiking, through swimming in the ocean. 
out breath and space so important to being in feminine power number six receiving okay action and doing is to the masculine what receptivity and surrender is to the feminine this is what the feminine is about it's about receiving if we were if we are always in man mode doing 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 taking action doing not stopping working harder and harder oh, there's no space to actually receive back from your efforts and your will i'm definitely one where i teach that we need both masculine and feminine but as a woman we need to be more in the feminine than we are in the masculine a lot of the time women are more in the masculine than they are in the feminine there's not enough space to receive back from the flow of life to receive back from the provision the masculine of the universe the masculine of the divine or men around you or just that flow that influx of support finances success power clients call it what you want but if you don't create the receptive vessel inside yourself things will not come to you number seven touch sensuality and touch is an integral part of the feminine experience i don't know any really feminine women women that are in touch with their feminine power that are not extremely sensual women in the way that they move in the way that they enjoy how things feel on their body in the way that they touch their friends or their lover in the way that they love to receive touch and be stroked and to get into the sensuality and dive into the energetic juiciness of touch and sensual experience. Now, touch can be experienced through movement too, which was our number one step. But touch, make sure that you're touching people and you're being touched. Ask for it if you're not getting enough touch. I know that's a really big one for me. I'm a big, big touch person, extremely tactile. So go out there and make sure you're getting touched this week. And number eight is create we are born to create the feminine body is a creative beast okay we are about creation we literally grow this incredible creation in our bellies which is a baby we are in touch with the creative force of life by virtue of the body that we're in and the fact that we're in a female body form so in a way, you can use all those other pieces, take time, take space, self-care, all those pieces to create something this week. Create something. It could be cooking something. That is a creation. It could be downloading in your out-breath space about a new project or a new way to help people or a new way to serve your clients let yourself be creative about how you want to create okay you could paint you could do artwork creativity doesn't just mean art remember it means cooking it means doing things you can do things with your hands you can create through ideas too but we need to create we are just born to create things we need to feed the creatrix inside us she is all about creation so i hope you've enjoyed the eight keys to getting back into your feminine power go out and implement just one of those this week okay don't get overwhelmed by oh my gosh there's all these eight things go and implement one of them this week write them down and then add another one next week and it will become part of your modus operandi what your i call your fem os your fem operating system and to displace the man OS, the man operating system, you have to implement new skills and new techniques. These eight keys are a way to do that. I'd love you to make a comment on the video below. Uh, thumbs up, it'd be awesome. I love to see your comments and your questions. I definitely go in there every week to check if people are commenting. Um, and remember, when you come out and shine, you give others permission to do the same. So let's go out there and shine this week. Bye-bye for now.